What's up, folks? This is a quick review kind of Tuesday, especially coming off of Memorial Day weekend as we honored all the men and women who defend our freedoms. So cheers to that. Today we have Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is B522. That's right, the latest installment of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof series for 2022. And you guys know the deal, 12 years old, uncut, unfiltered, barrel proof, released three times a year. We all look for that special batch each and every year. Is B522 the batch to hunt? Let's try it today on the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C and welcome to the Mass and Drum Whiskey Room. New addition to the Whiskey Room, if you look right here above my shoulder, brand new sign. I mean, the thing is beautiful. Uh, this was made by Richard Rose, who just does incredible work, so thanks to you, Rich, uh, for making that sign for me. Uh, today we are trying the latest and greatest Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Uh, proof on this one for B522, 121 on the dot. All right, guys, so, you know, all the superlatives have been said about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, how great of a value it is. It's, you know, uncut, unfiltered, 12 years old for under 100 bucks. Uh, you can get it three times a year. And on top of that, um, we had A122, which we have here, which I will obviously compare it to to see which one I like better. A122, I thought was a really solid batch. You had some people that really liked it and some people that weren't too crazy about it. So at 121 proof, I'm, I'm hoping for a good standard Elijah Craig Barrel Proof profile. I have taken a couple sips of this. Let's see if it's uh, staying true to my first impression. So here we go. Man, the first impression I get off this is just, it's sweet. I mean, this is candy. It is coming off to me like brown sugar, brown sugar on top of brown sugar, a lot of caramelized sugars too from that oak. Man, a ton of cinnamon too. I love when I get brown sugar and cinnamon. I mean, that's a beautiful, lovely combination. Obviously get your, your high potent vanillas here as well. And I get a slight hint of that, a uh, little bit of medicinal cherry too that you get in some uh, higher age bourbons. This to me isn't nearly as oak forward uh, or you don't really get a lot like that leather tobacco that sometimes you get in some Elijah Craig Brow Proofs. This to me is way more on the candy sweet side, so let's try it. First pour of the day, that'll wake you up. <laughs> um, same thing on the palate. Extremely sweet on the palate. A lot more of the brown sugar and cinnamon is still there. Not as oaky. Man, the one thing um, that's a little bit, go back and a sip here. No, oh, interesting. So the second sip I just took, for the first time in a while, there's not a lot happening on the front palate of this one. It's very tame. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna go as far as say it's flat, but it's very tame. A lot more sweet. Finish is not as long either as, as I would expect from an, uh, other Elijah Craig Brow Proofs that I've had. Wow, third sip, even more so. This has to be one of the most easy sipping Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs I've ever had. It's very sweet, it's candy, it's brown sugar, cinnamon, a lot of vanilla, little hint of cherry. I don't even know if I could categorize this finish as being even medium. I mean, it's pretty, it's just borderline short medium. I would probably lean towards medium. There is a lingering pepperiness that is happening, but the initial punch of a finish, it's very, uh, very tame. That's crazy. Wow, and the more I'm sipping this, the tamer it's getting. I, I, the front of the palate and the finish now, after some subsequent sips are just, I'm not gonna say they're non-existent, but they're, yeah, just very, not as potent as I would expect. 
Again, this is probably one of the sweetest, easy sipping Elijah Craig barrel proofs that I've had, even at 121 proof. All right, before we compare it to A122, here's a quick word from today's video sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. You guys have heard me talk about Shaker and Spoon before, and I love their subscription so much that I decided to make some more cocktails and show you just how badass these boxes can be. So included in the box, you get all these different recipe cards that guide you through mixing and garnishing each cocktail step by step, and you even get a glossary that explains any unfamiliar bartending terms. Each box includes all the ingredients other than the alcohol. You have to supply your own alcohol, but you get about enough ingredients for 12 cocktails, four from each recipe. Everything you need, syrups, bitters, garnishes, infusions, hydrosols, and all sorts of crazy stuff. So today I'm breaking in a new box named Kickback with Cognac. Now I love Cognac finished bourbon, so why not make some cocktails with some Cognac by itself? Let's make this thing. So first things first, Spiced strawberry syrup. Well, that just sounds freaking delicious. And I need two dashes, not just drops, but two full dashes of Angostura bitters. Let's mix it up. All right, strain into a rocks glass over a fresh, large ice cube. All right, last but not least, a spritz of lemon oil. Never seen that in a cocktail, but we're gonna... Oh, there we go. I think I did two spritzes. All right, let's give it a go, cheers. The lemon and the strawberry together is, is really nice. All right, so while I drink all this, let's recap real quickly. Uh, Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription box that will deliver these craft cocktails to you. Again, each box has three recipes created by world-class bartenders and enough ingredients for 12 total cocktails. But click the link below in the description or use this code right here, Mash and Drum, at checkout for $20 off your first box. Now go get some fun cocktails delivered to your door, share with your friends, enjoy your summer, and I'm gonna keep drinking this. Cheers, everybody. All right, guys, here it is, A122, coming in at 120.8, so just two tenths lower in proof than the uh, B522. So let's dive in here. Wow, the noses are completely different. I actually prefer the nose on the B522. The A122 is a little bit harsher, a little bit more of that oak leather note. All right, let's go to the palette on the A122. The A122 has spice, it has punch. Even coming off of sipping the B522, the A122 is still bringing a lot of flavor here. Yeah, cherry, sweetness, a lot of vanilla and caramel here. Some of that oak, a nice spice throughout. I'm getting it from front to back on this one, all the spice, a lot of lingering spice as well on the finish. A little bit of chocolate as well. Yeah, the A122, just front to back. I mean, just goes to show you, even though this is technically a lower proof at 120.8, the difference in palette to the B522 is, it's night and day. All right, let's go to the B522. Oh my God, even coming off A122, it's, it's a completely different whiskey. All right, so here's what I'll say. These two are complete, I'm not gonna say they're complete opposites, but I think the experience is opposite. If you enjoyed the bite and the oak and the little bit of chocolate, a little bit more of the sweet tobacco notes in A122, um, I'm not sure if you're, or, or if you just like that profile in general from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, if you want some more of the punch and a little bit more of the heat and the lingering spice, B522 I don't think is gonna be your, your jam. <laughs> To put it bluntly, B522 is one of the most easy sipping, sweetest Elijah Craig Brow Proofs I've ever had. It's It just comes down to that. It's not saying that it's bad, but I think there's gonna be a ton of people that enjoy the B522 just because of how sweet and easy it is. I think people are buying these either way, no matter what I say or any other reviewers say, because they're such good values. And Elijah Craig Brow Proof, let's, you know, let's be honest, for the most part, you know, are pretty delicious. I would not put ice in this B522. Sometimes I'll put a, a, a cube or so in the in a usual Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but this B522 does not need it. It is sweet, it is easy, uh, as easy as 121 proof can be. One last sip of the A122. 
Wow, the spice difference is on another level. This is all punch, flavor, good balance. Whether you like the flavors or not, this has much more of a potency on the palate than the B522. Uh, B522, if you guys are into sweeter sipping, easy drinking bourbons, even though this says 121 proof, this B522, like for me, it's lacking um, most of the stuff I look for in a lot of great barrel proof personally, but I think there's gonna be a lot of folks that like this one. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the brand new Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B522. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you guys have had this one yet, if you have the same experience that I do. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the spicier, more in your face Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, or do you appreciate when a nice little sweeter sipping one comes along? So, I uh, appreciate you guys always. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Take care, everybody.